If you would like to attract clients and generate endless leads for free by leveraging Instagram, this video is going to give you the blueprint. I'm gonna be breaking down four different profiles, walking you through four different agents, new agents, experienced agents, and part-time and luxury, showing you examples of what posts they're making and why it's actually working, what they're doing well, so that you can see firsthand exactly what you should be doing if you are one of those categories of agents or would like to break into luxury, how you can do that by leveraging Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and walk you through these four different profiles of four very different agents so that you can find one that you relate with and start to attract clients for free, leveraging Instagram as a realtor. All right, so let's walk through these four different Instagram profiles and talk about what they're doing right and why they're getting clients. Now, I will link all four of these in the description below and in the pinned comment. You'll also see that I've got a couple interviews with three out of the four of these individuals. I gotta get the fourth on my channel, but we're gonna be going through Amanda Aguiar, we're gonna be going through Sean Batista, Jenny Selly, and Rico Guzman. I've got interviews at length with Sean, Amanda, and Jenny, so if you would like to see those where they unpack their entire content process and everything that they do to create this content to make it easy and engage and how they convert views into actual clients, drop a comment below and just say which interview you want, whether it be Amanda's, Jenny's, or Sean's. Eventually, Rigo will come along, but uh, for now, drop a comment if you want to see the interviews at full length. Otherwise, let's dive in. So the first thing you see with Amanda is you can see a really good bio when it comes to, okay, I speak multiple languages, a little bit about me, who I serve, and the overall market and the style of people or the target avatar that I work with. You can see a professional photo as well, but you can also see that the branding is on point. You can see that all of these Instagram highlights are all on brand, all professional, all look absolutely incredible. There's a couple pinned posts here in terms of getting featured in different articles related to her local market, benefits of partnering with her. But you can see here that this gives a really clear idea as soon as you come to the profile as to who she is, who this is for, as well as some accolades. Now, when we come down here, we can start to look at a couple things. You can see when it comes to her content, the content that's doing very well is the content related to her market. And the thing is, as you'll even see here, there's not a mass amount of engagement, but the branding is on point. There's cover images for all of the reels. And you can also see that it's all value driven. So I think a lot of people get consumed with the vanity metrics and a lot of people think that you need insane amounts of views, insane amounts of likes and comments and followers in order to get great results. But Amanda did, you know, over 100,000 GCI in her first four and a half months as a brand new agent working part-time, part-time agent breaking six figures in a third of a year as a new agent. So when you start looking at this, this value-driven information is incredible. If we come down here, you can also see, you know, about traveling and you can see about lifestyle and certain things that she's into. I think as you can see here, we come down and you could start to see a little bit more about her personal life. And I think that's also really important. This is a really great blend of the personal side of things, the business side of things. So you can come here and immediately identify who she is, what she's about, what makes her unique, who she serves. And it's all very professional, but it's also very consistent. So this is a great example of what you could do if you're getting started and you don't have a huge budget to invest. You also, you know, don't need to be getting a ridiculous amount of engagement the quality and the engagement is what actually matters. And Amanda blends this with things like YouTube and her newsletter in order to further create that experience and that like, know, and trust factor with her clients. All right, so now coming to Sean Batista. Sean and his brother Scott both have incredible profiles. You wanna make sure to check them both out. I'm gonna link both below, but I just wanted to focus on one at a time for length purposes. But let's unpack Sean. So Sean and Scott, twin brothers, absolute legends. They're actually the top leaders in the entire wolf pack when it comes to growth, and they are just incredible when it comes to helping other agents scale their business. So they're not only doing over a million GCI in terms of their own business per year, but they've also helped so many other agents, even brand new agents break six figures per month when it comes to actually producing. So again, if we look at this, couple things that are important. You can see really professional photo here that is on brand. He's all about suits and looking sharp. You can see here, 
He's number one realtor on social media, so some credibility. You can also see, okay, driving traffic, 150K on TikTok. You can see he helps realtors create an unforgettable brand. He absolutely does. And a link tree. So if you come to link tree, we'll be able to see a couple important things. You can see looking at, you know, his feature on a podcast. You can look at some of his other resources, how to grow on TikTok, how to build a real estate brand, and his YouTube channel. So make sure you actually go check these out because they're incredible resources. But again, similar to Amanda, you can see here, we have all of these pinned posts. Well, we can very quickly see that Sean is all about looking sharp, as you can see here. You can see he's all about cars, which is very similar to me, which is why we probably get along so well. You can see some other information as well, but you can see how he recently got a deal from Instagram that ended in a $2.7 million closing, and that is a frequent occurrence for both Sean and Scott, and then some information about why he decided to join EXP. But if you come to Sean's profile, you'll see very, very quickly a ton of great content that all relates to himself, his personal brand. He is all about his brand. He lives his brand, and that is so, so important. And I'll overlay this video because it's, as you can see, viral right now. Um, but you can see other videos or photos, rather, about his beautiful family, signing for investment properties, a lot of content with his twin brother, Scott, to be able to showcase his, again, always on brand lifestyle, as well as with his brother, so other family and the events he's speaking at. So it doesn't matter what Sean posts, it is always guaranteed to be on brand, it's always guaranteed to be quality, and it's also guaranteed to be value-driven and consistent. But let's take a peek at this video here, because it's absolutely crushing it, and you can see here, it's all about storytelling, which is what I'll get to. So as you can see, Sean and Scott are both really good at talking about their story. Facts tell, stories sell. And one of the things I love about them is they talk about their journey. They talk about starting in, you know, in oversized suits and, you know, struggling to get deals to now looking incredibly sharp, having wildly recognized personal brands and building an incredibly successful business from multiple avenues. So this is a really great example, again, for two guys that have broken in and absolutely taken over the luxury industry it's impossible to look at these, the tours they do, and all of the content that they post and not make the immediate assumption that they're luxury agents. You cannot say that they're not on brand because they are at all points. And you also get an idea as to who they are. You can see they're both, Sean and Scott, both big into fitness. They're also both big into family. They're also into traveling and cars, as you can see here. So they do so much content right. And I really think if you're looking to break into the luxury space, these two incredible individuals are who you want to emulate. Now talking about property tours, let's go over to Rigo. Rigo, again, massive organic following. He gets incredible engagement on his content, um, but let's look at a couple things. Number one, on brand. Again, you can see here the profile picture that resonates with his brand. You can see you have who he, you know, services in terms of his um, market center. You also see that he's been featured, so some credibility. You have a direct opportunity to book a consultation, so a call to action, and what his niche is or who he specifically serves. Similar to Amanda, you can see that the highlights are all yet again on brand. And when we come down, you can see that Rigo is incredible when it comes to property tours. So he's got a couple pinned posts here related to, you know, again, big achievement for him was getting the G-Wagon. You can see a couple other property tours that have done really well. And if you come through, you'll just see that that is his bread and butter. It's kind of like Suman on YouTube. Well, Rigo's done very much the same when it comes to Instagram. So if we come over, let's take a quick peek at this video to give you a glimpse as to what we're talking about here. So here's some photos, as you can see here. And what we'll do is I'll show you one of his videos so you can take a peek at the style of content that he is posting.
So as you can see from that video, it, you know, sometimes he's in them, sometimes he's not. It's not even a crazy effort, but what Rigo is really great at is being consistent. So when it comes to property tours and it comes to getting into new construction, new developments, Rigo is an incredible example as he's really young. He's absolutely crushing it and a great example of property tours. Now let's come over to Jenny and Jenny is doing incredibly well. Three time icon award um, at EXP. So she's crushing it you can see award-winning realtor mama two moved from ontario to new brunswick so who she relates to which is relocation speaks another language similar to amanda with a proper call to action as you can see here and her youtube channel crushes it so a couple things to unpack here you can see here pinned posts well if you come to the pinned posts yet again it's very easy to see what jenny is all about you can see that she's got some massive awards and recently just got her third icon award you can see that she's all about family and she's all about being the industry expert in her market center and getting all these cool opportunities as early access as well but one of the things i love about jenny is she shows the really personal side of things more than most people she really kind of leans into her family and relating to other moms and parents with young kids that are likely looking to relocate as well so you can see all of these photos here and one of the things i want to say in, in kind of echo is similar to Amanda. It's not that she's got, you know, tens of thousands of followers. It's not that she's getting hundreds of likes on every single post, but the content that she's putting out is very relatable and the quality of the people engaging with her content is incredibly high. So you could start to see here that people are coming to her at scale from her content. She's got incredible property tours, She's also always showing her accolades in terms of new listings, closings, coming soons, all kinds of great stuff. So when you come to her page or your profile, it's impossible not to see that she's actually doing business. It's not just other people's listings. So again, the moral of the story when it comes to Instagram is a couple of things to unpack here. And, and all four of these individuals have done incredibly well. The profile pictures are super consistent with everything else that they do. Their bios are very detailed in terms of knowing exactly who they are, who they serve, what makes them unique, and any credibility that they have. You can also see the pinned posts on all four of these individuals tells a very strategic story as to who this individual is. And you can see that the consistency is there, but also they really lean into what matters to them and this is a great way to build that trust factor, but they're not getting consumed with the vanity metrics. They're just being consistent with value-driven content. And again, you got to check out the interviews because they dive much deeper than we did today. But I just wanted to give you a couple examples of some really great profiles that you can emulate. So if you have any other questions about Instagram, drop a comment below. Otherwise, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.